oh, are you buying or renting? You say renting. They're like, um, I mean, so what? Like, who cares? Like, they should be happy for you either way. channel i am Brittany. if you're new here welcome welcome you are watching an episode of a chit chat video that i do kind of often now because i'm liking the whole sitting down vibing with y'all talking real quick as you guys can tell by the title we are going to be talking about renting versus buying and me manifesting my dream home so if you're new to this channel and you have not subscribed please do so because i give you guys weekly vlogs every sunday and i also do cute little chit chat videos like this one so yeah and hit the bell because you never know when i'm gonna be dropping a video i will have a dedicated video every sunday but these chit chat videos might come whenever during the week and all those who are subscribed to me and know the drill let's chat baby because you already know we like to vibe and sit down and talk so really quickly i'm going to go into manifesting my dream home and i want to talk to you guys a little bit about that really quickly and then the next topic will be renting versus buying let's take a trip down memory lane real quick if you guys have followed me or are following me on instagram Please do so if you're not. Brittany Jackson underscore TV. It should be at the bottom of the screen right here. But please do so because I post very frequently on my stories. I post a lot. So if you're not following me, I suggest you do so. So you'll get to interact with me more. And also I do post YouTube uploads and youtube ideas and videos that are coming soon i will be posting that more so in my community tabs in youtube but i really am more active on instagram if you guys are following me or have been following me then you know that i have been on the hunt for moving into my own home i started around like september october i'm not gonna lie i started around september october just looking at homes, going online and looking at homes and trying to find the perfect house. I believe in October, I viewed or I toured this beautiful home that I just fell in love with. It had the high ceilings like I wanted and everything. Again, if you guys follow me, you guys know that I wanted to move into a house that had high ceilings because my current apartment has tall ceilings. It's not the tallest ceilings, but they are, it is a loft, so it does have higher ceilings than a normal apartment. So I wanted that so bad. I did view this home in like October, I think, or November, one of these months, I did view it. And of course, someone else got it. If you guys watch my video on manifest in my apartment i'm gonna put a link up here i literally went through almost the same process as i did before y'all the old girl didn't learn her lesson <laughs> i'm trying i'm getting better but literally i did not learn my lesson from that last video <laughs> so it is going to be like kind of like the same thing if you listen to the story it's going to be like the same thing almost so okay let's go back i viewed the home in october um someone else got the home and I was like, okay, you know what, whatever. You know, I still had a deadline. My um, moving date wasn't up yet. So I was like, okay, I still got some time to look for a home. So whatever. But I did find this type of floor plan that I fell in love with and was wanting and was interested in. I think between October and November, we toured a bunch of homes. I mean, I think I want to say eight, but I'm pretty sure it probably was more than that. I'm pretty sure it was more than that because we went to a lot of houses. Some houses I went to twice. Like it was just constant touring, touring, touring. And also the market for homes out here. If you guys watched my video on living in Atlanta, I'll link it up here. <laughs> but if you guys watched that video, you guys know that I, I kind of touched on living in Atlanta as far as like looking for a house, looking for an apartment, the process is kind of still the same. What's out there is, is what's out there and it may be gone just like that. With homes, it's the same thing when you're looking for a house out here, in my opinion, because a lot of the homes that we were interested in were getting taken up by people just like that. They were going off the market so fast. And then also there were homes that we weren't just interested in and they were just on the market, but we weren't interested. Like we needed a four bed house 
we needed a lot of square footage we needed like specifics so a lot of those homes were smaller or they just wasn't in the right neighborhood or something there was always something so this process actually took a lot longer than I thought it would because I started in October and we didn't find the house until December like late December I'm talking about like on my birthday <laughs> so yeah it took a while but it came right in time y'all it came right in time uh, your girl did learn from the last time when I was looking at my apartment don't be going ahead and applying to all these places you guys know when I was searching for this apartment I applied to like every apartment that I looked at because I just desperately wanted to move and wanted to find somewhere so fast but this time i kind of got drained and burnt out really quickly as we were torn houses and we didn't find what we were looking for exactly we didn't put in too many applications and the applications that we did put in it only took like twice for them to like go with other people and i was like okay yeah i'm done i'm not about to keep spending this money like i did last time trying to find a house like no that's not what i'm about to do this time mm -mm. so i kind of got burnt out and really honestly just gave up and you know, decided like, you know, I still got time versus last time when I was looking for my apartment, I didn't have that much time. But this time I was like, I have time, okay? I have time to find the perfect house. So, I ended up looking at a company that I actually inquired about like back in October, but I never really followed up with them. And I saw that they were having more homes available. So I was like, okay, I'll apply. Like I said, okay, let's just apply to this one and see what happens now i will say i wasn't like happy i guess or like excited to apply with them because the houses that they had online i didn't like like the pictures i was like i don't really like how the the houses look the floor plans the square footage the area the schools everything was fine they accept pets everything was fine but the house itself i wasn't like too fond of so I was like, okay, well, I guess we can apply. By this time, this is like November. So at this time, I was like, you know what, let's just do it because we don't even have that much time to play around like that. Back in October, we had time, but it's like getting up there. November, December, we almost had our deadline. So we applied and we got approved. So I was happy, yay. I was happy, but I didn't know what the houses look like. You know, I didn't really know what they look like other than the little pictures that they had online. So you know me. I went and I drove to the neighborhood just to have a look. Now, they didn't have any homes to tour. I don't know if I mentioned that, but they didn't have any homes to tour versus like the ones that we looked at before. They were empty, vacant. You can just get a code and walk in yourself. These homes were not like that. They just had pictures online and floor plans available for you to see that's it they didn't really have vacant homes for you to walk through and see so that kind of alarmed me because i was like well i need to know what i'm approved for and what i'm going to be living in like i want to know exactly what it looks like i don't want to just see the floor plan i can't read the floor plan so i was like you know i'm just gonna drive there because if the homes are going to be available soon that means they're under construction that means there's something up a frame something so i drove there and walked around the neighborhood and went inside every little house. <laughs> I sure did. I parked the car, drove up there, and was like, okay, this is cute, okay. This is cute. This is cute. Oh, I like that. So I was getting excited. I was like, oh, wow, these houses actually look nothing like the pictures that they have online. Obviously, well, they do look like the pictures, but they just, the appliances, the colors, everything is different. Like, it does state that though. Now it does state on the website that certain houses, this is just a model home of the houses and that the floor plan, I mean, the colors and woods and all that will be different. So, but they don't have an actual, like they don't have all these options on their website. They just state that it could be different. So when I looked at it, I instantly fell in love. And if you guys watch my vlogmas from my birthday, I will link that right here in the cards. But I did show you guys a house tour of the house that we were approved for. So that's why I went ahead and showed you guys because I think on Christmas Eve, I believe, 
we went ahead and actually toured the actual house that we got approved for and it was just so beautiful with the gray cabinets and it's large space it did have the high ceiling in the foyer area just beautiful but I wanted to look at all the houses I wanted my options you know your girl wanted her options options so I went around like I said to look at all the houses in the neighborhood most of them were already um, taken off the market except for one house that was next door to the house that we already approved for I went in and y'all it had the high ceilings I was like I couldn't believe it I couldn't believe it I was so shocked I was because on their website they do not have this particular floor plan where you can see the high ceilings it certainly doesn't state that it has the high ceilings and you can't really tell it's high ceilings from the floor plan like it doesn't actually show it so when I walked in there I was like I I fell in love all over again because y'all remember the first house that I toured in October was like my dream floor pan. And that was with a different company. That wasn't even with the company that we went with. So I was like, okay, if I could find a house like the one I found in October, that would be bomb. And y'all, I, I did. So when I went to go view it, I was like, Hello? Yes, is this lot available? He was like, let me look, hold on. And it was available. So I was like, okay, you know what? Never mind. I, can we please just switch to this house? I really love this house. I really, really, really love this house. Can we just switch? Because at this time we had an app we had approved application and we had a deposit. So I was like, can we just move to this one, please? Because I really like this one. Y'all didn't tell me y'all had this one. I want this one. Please, please, please. And he said, yes. So y'all, I had the house that I've been wanting to have since October. Like it was just, and it was right next door to the one that we already got approved for, which is crazy. I was like, okay, okay. I'm catching on universe, I'm catching on, I'm catching on. I said before, when I was applying for my apartment a couple years ago, I think in 2019, it feels like it's been so long, but yeah, back in 2019, I was applying for everything that I saw. I just kept putting in so many applications and remember I was looking for like a loft apartment in a downtown area or close to the city area and kept getting denied by all those apartments until this apartment showed up and it's the same thing with the house like I except no I didn't go crazy with the applications but I did end it up getting what I wanted which is crazy it's just crazy but I know the universe is tired of me. Like I know they tired of me. I know they sick of me. Probably sitting there like, look at this girl. Look at this girl. She just, she just keep. No, no, girl. That way. You just, you're not listening. Look at her. Look at her wasting her time. I know they're looking at me like that because I literally just be on a us Capricorns. Y'all know we like to control stuff. We want to have our hooves in the earth and controlling our lives. But this time I did like make myself saw and really take my time so when I got that floor print that I love y'all oh my gosh I cannot wait to show y'all house tour empty house tour will be coming very soon but I'm just so happy I wanted to share that with you guys because listen universe doesn't control you you control the universe so you just tell them what you want and you gonna get it okay you gonna get it as long as you work towards it it's already okay you just gotta find it you gotta go through a maze to get it but it's already yours trust me when you get there ain't nobody gonna else have it because it's yours period so I just wanted to share that little manifestation story with you guys real quick because I have put it out there so many times I mentioned before that was part of oh my Annie's manifestation challenge and I did put a picture up of the house that I wanted and the floor plan I wanted and I just was like this is gonna be my house y'all some way somehow this is gonna be my house I just I just knew it was gonna be my house but yeah guys I just want to share that real quick with y'all because this is a crazy story y'all I cannot make this stuff up my life be crazy <laughs> anyway so on to the next topic, renting versus buying. I mentioned before about our house and I did say that we are renting. And the reason why we are renting is because I want to. Like I want, to. this year would make the third year that I've been living in Atlanta and I feel like that's not enough time for me personally to just live somewhere forever. That's just, that's just not what I plan to do. As I mentioned before in my video about living in Atlanta, 
this is Atlanta and then there's like 14 to 16 other cities around it and all of, all those other cities have so much things in it they're always building there's new development everywhere so I don't know what city I want to actually just live in forever or buy a house in and that's just me that's just my opinion that's just what I want to do you guys see all over the internet and Instagram people buying up houses people holding up their sold 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 sign and that's a beautiful thing that's a great thing for them but for me i'm just like that's just not what i want to do right now like i don't have a i don't have a certain city where i want to live in forever is what i'm saying like i just don't know exactly where that would be and i don't want to rush to buy something just because people think i should buy mortgage is a big thing it ain't like no little debit i mean it ain't like no little credit card or nothing like that it's a big Thing, and I want to take my time. I'm not letting nobody tell me anything different. So I don't want you guys to feel like, oh, I gotta hurry up and buy a house. I know I gotta hurry up and buy a house. If you're ready to, sure, go ahead. But if not, just don't feel like you failed in life or don't feel like you need to rush either. Cause take your time. Cause <laughs> mortgage is something that's big. And when you, once you get wrapped up in it, uh -uh. ask those same folks that been telling you to buy it. Are they gonna help you with that mortgage or selling that house when you're ready to get out? Also, uh, I'm not gonna go into detail about this because I'm pretty sure there's other videos out there and more experienced people, but also I do look up the city that I live in and I look up new developments and things like that. That's why sometimes I know what's coming soon and what's not, but the housing rates out here have surged and I'm talking about like double digit surge and that's just not something that I'm willing to go for either. Like I, if you can't find a house that's within 250,000 probably that's close to the city then I don't want to live way far out just to say I brought a house that's just not realistic to me that's just not realistic to me I don't know I don't know when I buy a house I, forever my forever home is going to be built the way I want first of all and I want to be able to build that house wherever I want how I want okay that's just it that's just how I look at it and that's just how I want but your girl's done with apartments so i don't want to be sitting in an apartment either like i want the luxuries of a new home which we have it's a new home we're the first ones newly built beautiful home so yeah it is possible you can still rent one you can still rent a house and have the luxuries of a house without having to be tied down to it so that's where i'm and that's where i am at in the whole buying and renting Okay, so if someone asks you, oh, are you buying or renting? You say renting, they're like, oh. I mean, so what, like who cares? Like, they should be happy for you either way. They should be happy for you either way. So yeah, that's all I wanted to talk to you guys about real quick. Hopefully I didn't chat y'all ears off. If you're interested in more videos, just subscribe like I said. Make sure you comment your ideas down below and if you want to chat more. I do have a lot of chit chat videos scheduled and planned, but if you guys want me to talk about a specific topic, then go ahead and write that down below so that I can maybe try to finesse something up because I don't know if that's a topic that I would relate to, but you never know. You can always comment below to check. And yeah, guys, uh, make sure, like I said, stay tuned for the empty house tour coming up and I and you guys really like my vlog from last week which I thought was trash I'm not gonna lie to you I thought that was that vlog was trash but I'm glad you guys like that because now I can give you guys what you want which is like more weekly vlogs of me doing furniture shopping and home stuff because trust me we're coming from a two-bedroom apartment to a four-bedroom house so there's gonna be a lot of videos of home stuff and home content and stuff like that so i got y'all on that but when y'all want to know about any chit chat videos just leave your ideas below and also i do have hair videos you also need if you watched my last vlog you saw that i had a whole bunch of fenty stuff i have a full face fenty um tutorial coming up i might be late to the game because i won't be able to film that video till later on when i get my office so yeah, but I still got that coming. And I still got hair videos, like I said. So yeah, we have a bunch of content planned and we're gonna do it all. We, it's 2021, we're starting off with a good foot. We are gonna keep it going all 2021, okay? All right guys, so I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching, bye.